Hey, what's going on? Joe Coffey here for PremierGuitar.com, and we're here at a Joe Bonamassa show, and we're going to go through his rig with the man himself. Uh, we're in Des Moines at the Hoyt Sherman uh, Theater. Is that correct, That's Joe? That's right. Center for the Performing Arts, as they call it. Cool. I'm um, excited to be here. Thanks for doing this. Yeah, yeah. Good to see you, man. Same here, man. It's I been a while. Yeah, I think the last time I saw you was at the... Uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame at the 335 Mr. event. Mr. Larry Carlton. Yeah. That's right. That was a great event. The first time I saw your gold top, and we were all just like, oh, my God, he brought it. That was so cool. Yeah, that was the prototype. That was the very, very first one. This is actually the first one that came off the production line. So I've been playing this guitar. This is like my favorite child. So cool. I bring it everywhere except for our, I don't put it under the plane because I know that will just setting myself up yeah. for disappointment one day. <laughs> So. Well, take us through uh, the rig you brought to this gig. I know you've got, right. you know, many have, different things. Well, I have three rigs. Um, this is the particular rig that I'm using in America right now. Um, I have three of these setups. Um, one that's in Europe. It's a different set of cabinets, different heads. And I have one that's kind of a spare for everything in case something breaks and I need one immediately. So um, this head here is a particular, this head here is a 1987 Marshall Jubilee. Um, it's celebrating its 15th anniversary with me on the road. I bought it in 1994. I've used it for every gig. Has never broken down. I've retubed it 20 times, but I always use it and I love it. What it has, tubes are in? They're just EL 34s. It's you know, it's same old you know Marshall. But I, I I love these heads specifically from 1987. I think it's the best preamp Marshall that they ever made. I mean, kind of taking away the the great four inputs of you know input models of last you know. 1968, 1969. So, um, this is a 20 year old Bogner on loan from Mr. Reinhold Bogner himself while he builds me a Bogner um, similar to this. This one here is an old style one, has a deep switch or the dark switch, which he told me uh, particularly that only myself and Eric Johnson like the dark switch, so he stopped making them on the production heads. Thus, he's making a custom one for me with two inputs as well. Um, this is a Carol Ann. Joe Bonamassa 100 uh, 6L6 model, which I like because it's very articulate and very clean. And this is um, a Van Vilden Twinkle Land. This is the only one in the U.S. Um, it's one of 15 in existence, really. And the only one in silver face, like the old style Dumble. And um, it comes with its own buffered effects lube. And these are Category 5 cabinets loaded with EL12L, you know, EV 12Ls. And um, I use 421 microphones. And these Orlex. Um, great grandmas uh, that kind of isolated from the stage, and then I use this baffle. I've seen these a bead before, and the difference really is noticeable. It's it's well, amazing. You, the bottom end is clear. I mean, I'm not competing with the bass. I'm not competing with the bass drum, and it's you know it's all about being clear. So all this kind of gets routed into this pedal board. Um, it's kind of ragtag. It's been around for a while, and we we add a couple pedals here and there. And um, this particular setting uh, on the Layla box is setting A, and that's just the Bogner in the Silver Jubilee, which is always on. And it um, sounds a bit like this. Very fat, kind of mid-rangey, um, but very dry. It also runs the theremin. The way I run the theremin is I have a volume pedal and a Keely delay. It's kind of a poor use of a very good pedal, but you know, anyway, sorry, Robert. Um, at least I plugged you. Um, here it is. You know, and the Russian ladies do it much better than I do, but it's, it sounds. You know, it's great for effect. You know, you could probably find a pedal that does it, but again, it's, we are in the entertainment business, and my job awesome. with these 1,250 people tonight are, is to entertain them. I know there are a lot of AB switches I out use that, there. I mean, that's one of the original 200 ever made. I like that one. It's been on this, this particular board for a while. I also use the Palmer ones, which I love. Okay. Palmer makes a lot of cool stuff. I actually use the speaker emulator and uh, the Palmer ABC switch for the other set of gear that's in Europe, which is great. B is the Carolan, and that's kind of got a bunch of chorus on it and a bit of a short slap back and it kind of sounds like this. And it also cleans up. I know I get criticized. Geez, Joe, they all sound the same. Well, if you were actually here playing this thing, um, they all react differently. So the, this one cleans up faster than any of the other amps so I can get the really clean stuff. <laughs> So that's what the Carolina is predominantly, predominantly used for, is for kind of a cleaner thing, and it's good for power chords as well. And that with a little bit of delay.
delay on the Jubilee. And then the Van Vilden is kind of like my solo tone. It's very dark, and I have a TC2290 running through it. It's kind of like using the space shuttle to go down the street for milk for what I'm using for the TC, <laughs> but, but this is really dark and kind of mid-rangey. But you can hear like the short slap back. And that's what the TC does. It's great. 165. And then I use a delay on the, the Jubilee and then kind of put it all together, but it gives it... I'm just pre, you know, I'll just kind of like, you know, get ahead of the, the YouTube comments because sounds like Eric Johnson. Well, no, duh. So <laughs> anyway.